Hey guys, this is Salamander Anagram with ReactorTutorials.com and in this video I'll show you how to remove DC offset from an audio signal. As an example signal I'll use a sine wave with a pitch of 60 and an amplitude of 1 and in order to model the DC offset component we'll add a constant value to the output of the oscillator and we'll choose that constant value with a knob called DC. Let's just take a quick look at what this signal looks like and then I'll show you how we can remove the DC very easily. And I'm just using a scope macro here that I made in a previous Quick Tips video. I'll leave a link to that in the video description. So as we move the DC knob can see that the waveform is moving up or down on the oscilloscope and this is kind of undesirable we want our waveforms to be centered around the zero point of the scope in the middle of the oscilloscope so we can remove the DC value using a high pass filter and we can use the one pole filter at the top of the filter menu for this task and what this will do is the DC offset has a frequency of zero because it's just a constant value that's not moving. So we're going to use the high pass filter to just filter out the DC component of our signal. So if we leave the filter with a pitch of zero, that's going to correspond to a frequency of about 8 hertz. So all of the signals beneath 8 hertz are going to be reduced in amplitude. Okay, so here's our oscillator with the DC added. And when we uh, switch to the input with the high pass filter, you see no matter what we do with the uh, DC input, it always centers the wave back to the middle of the oscilloscope. All right, so that's how to remove a DC offset from an audio signal. Once again, this is Salamander Anagram with ReactorTutorials.com.